Now, quickly, how do I carry these? This is kind of new. Um, by new, I mean four months. I've been carrying every single solitary day this way, and I've actually talked my wife into it. She's purchased one of these as well. For the pistol, this is a DeSantis Apache angle holster. And uh, I understand, and I do not want hall monitors regarding ankle carry. I like it. One of the biggest reasons I like it, as opposed to carrying in the small of the back, is it's available to me in my car, seated in my car. That's a big advantage to me, because where I live, road rage is kind of common. And if I get into a fender bender with somebody and they decide that they want to go postal on me, sorry, Cutler Lover, no no offense there with the gun. If they, they decide to go crazy and uh, try and hurt me, I want to be able to access my gun without having to basically completely reorient myself in my seat and this allows me to do it. It is slower to draw than small of the back if I am standing or you know inside the waistband but uh, overall I like it. I have trained extensively in those in these last four months with how I want to draw and it works and it's reasonable. Keep in mind and a lot of a lot of self-defense guys handgun self-defense guys will will bear this out if you are in a situation where you're not protecting your family, that changes everything. But if you're in a situation where you're protecting yourself primarily, and obviously by get, dispensing a bad guy, you're not just protecting yourself. You're protecting everybody else in the room and everybody else that he might come into contact with before he's arrested or she. But if you're trying to protect yourself first and you're not, you know, you're not acting selflessly in, in in a reckless way, which honestly, if your family is in danger, you might well choose to behave somewhat recklessly, to draw fire, to uh, to create a distraction so that they can get cover, or what have you. But if your your primary mode, and this is how I think, if my if I'm by myself without my family, my first thing I'm going to do, if there's a if there's somebody that I think I need to use my weapon on, I'm going to find cover. I'm going to find cover where I can safely fire at that person without standing in the middle of a room. Because you are pretty much, especially if they're, if they're, if they're carrying one of the most common weapons out there, which is your shotgun, if you're standing in the middle of the room, they're going to injure or kill you very quickly. So it's a very good idea to find cover first. Now, honestly, my choices will change if if my family or friends are with me. And I know that you're putting some people at risk and some strangers at risk if you're going and diving for cover when there's a when there's a bad guy in the room. But the reality is you can save more lives if you're able to get to cover and protect yourself until you can safely or until you can dispatch the bad guy. And I don't want to get too gruesome, but you need to you can't you can't stop the bad guy if you're dead is what it comes down to so your first job is to find cover and then then you can and if if you have an ankle holster obviously you run to cover then draw your weapon that's that's all I'm gonna say about that that's a lot more than I plan on saying but my point is I like ankle holster I've thought about it thoroughly if you don't like it I respect that and I understand and you guys can do you carry how you want I also have another completely different system I use when I'm wearing shorts or if I'm in a situation where I really think there's a good chance that I need to carry or pull quickly um, but I've never really been in that situation before so that's how I carry my pistol now how do I carry the rest of this this is what I really think is intriguing this is a 511 uh, credential carrier cred wallet I think is what it's called and it's modified um, by my wife, who is an excellent seamstress, and uh, she's she's done some slight modifications, and I'll, I'll show you what they are, basically. As it comes, there are two large pockets. There are two large pockets, one here and one here, and I don't know if you can tell, but they had Velcro on them to keep those closed, and then you have two smaller pockets here. And, you know, this, I think, is probably thought of for um, an extra magazine. What I've done, or what my wife has done for me, is she actually sewed a seam all the way up here, 
all the way up here, and then all the way here. So what I end up with is essentially four pockets back here and two pockets here, and then I remove the Velcro because I didn't need that at that point. Here's how I carry all of this. The, uh, the pepper spray rides here. Sticks up just a hair, but that allows me to quickly access it, and, and I kind of like it that way. And my flashlight rides here, and I sink that thing all the way down, and there's why I have the lanyard on there, so I can just pull that guy out whenever I need to. And then, extra magazine, you can kind of see from the markings on it, goes right there, sits very well, snugly in there, can't, will not fall out. And I don't do handstands, so I'm pretty safe. And then last but not least, that dude goes right there. And this does such a great job counterbalancing the pistol on the other ankle that it's it just makes it incredibly comfortable. So this is my current system. This may not be all I'm carrying. I might have a, a, waist, a lumbar pack or a fanny pack. I might have my uh, Scotty vest on, which I haven't ever talked about, but... When it's cool, I have my Scotty vest on. I mean, if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll ho I'm hoping to do a review on it. But being that it's black, it's very hard to film. So I've had a hard time. I've tried it a couple times, and it just doesn't look good. So um, basically, that's that's my cold weather system. Is a Scotty vest, basically loaded out, and uh, I. I have good and bad things to say about it, but primarily if you want something like a Scotty Vest, you have to buy a Scotty Vest because there's nothing else like that. And you can go to www.scottevest.com, S-C-O-T-T-E-V-E-S-T.com if you want to see it. I'll put a link in the sidebar if I think about it. But anyway, this is what I carry every day as long as I can wear long pants. If I'm wearing shorts, everything changes, but... This is primarily 99% of the time what I'm carrying. If you have any questions, any thoughts, feel free to carry, uh, put them down in the comments. Please, again, no hall monitors. I'm not really interested in, you know, you saying, oh, ankle holsters are stupid, or, you know, you have to have a flap on top of your extra magazine, or you're going to lose it for sure. I'm not interested in hall monitors. So, if you have good constructive thoughts, or questions, or criticisms even, feel free to leave them, but just, Chit differences of opinion I'm not really interested in. But most of all, as usual, you guys have fun out there.